Hi guys! Welcome to my week 6 battle in the VDL. This week I'm up against All Rum and the Middle Village P Doves. So, yeah, I already see a few things that I'm not too fond of. I'm very scared of Trick Room in this matchup because I don't really have a good way to prevent it. At least not with the six I chose. Hmm. I do like Tapu Bulu here though. I'm going to lead Drift Blim because at least it can't be faked out. I'm gonna go Drift Blim. Hmm. I kinda want Fermosa. I'll lead Driftland Formosa and then Bulu right on in the back just in case. In case of Trick Room, Raiden is my go to option. So yeah, I'm 4 1 at the moment. If I manage to win this, I'm pretty much guaranteed to make it to playoffs. Sweeten and Dublade, okay. Not as bad as I thought. Um, I think I'll just Shadow Blade and probably U turn. Don't want the most attacking unnecessary chip. I should be, yeah. That does not do a lot. That's a bulky sweeping set. Gonna go into Boodle here and activate my Unburden. Shadow Ball should do a, a fair bit to do Blade. I think it's a solid two hit KOE benefits. Um, max HP a Violet. Yeah, that's good damage. Special defense drop doesn't really go through the iron defense. Okay, that's good for me. Roar, interesting. In comes ride on. Hmm. Now. Rhydon actually could live a water move, depending on the set. I think I'll just go for the grass move this weekend, which is kind of obvious, I guess, but... This weekend sets up Tailwind, that's fine. Dublade uses Iron Head. No flinch, please. Yeah, I reveal my Citrus Berry, which is fine. The Horn Leech should do a... Oh, that's a lot of damage, nice. Does that mean... Yeah, that definitely means I'll live a second Iron Head. Although, of course, Sweeken could... Uh, Sweeping could attack me as well. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, I don't really think I need Rhydon particularly much in this matchup. So I'm just gonna. Oh sh! Oh my god. Yeah, that was a misclick. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I, I live. But I get the burn. I get burnt. Okay, but that misclick is gonna end up costing me. Because that's not, no way that's gonna kill. Oh, that's so bad. Well, that's my fault. So, the good news 
is that Feromosa is actually faster than both of his mounts, I think, because I'm Scarf. I don't really have a good alternative, though. Down, bug bus. No way, bug bus kills. I think I'll just... I mean, Sweeken is not really a threat. Okay. There goes to protect. And there goes Fermos. Oh, Fermos lives. High horsepower doesn't knock it out. That's fine. Iron Defense, Iron Head. Hmm. Uh. I'm gonna scout for Shadow Sneak now. I would assume. Sumi has it, but you never know. Okay, I don't think he has Shadow Snake. You turn. that fairly well. And I'm able to knock out Suicune. And I think Tailwind goes out this turn as well. Which is nice. Yeah. So now I'm faster again. And I can actually recover health. Hmm, this probably has Shadow Sneak, but I'm not, not actually sure it would kill. I think I'll just do that, and then... Might set up Trick Room here, I guess. Yeah, I go first. Good health back. Break the disguise. I'm guessing Trick Room is coming here. Iron Head is not going to do that much either. Yeah, Trick Room. So now my Pheromos in the back is pretty useless to be honest. was fine.
Yeah, Mosa is pretty useless here now. Yeah, not, not my best game one, and that misclick really didn't help. GG's though, the roar was very cool, as it reset my grassy seed, which otherwise would have been very nice for me. So, what do I do? Game two. I still think Drift Blim and Tapu Bulu are my best mons here. So I think. Hmm. I think I'm gonna bring Auroras this time. and ride on in the back. Yeah, we see the same loot again. This time I'm gonna um, try to kill the double faster because it's a big threat. I think he does the exact same thing. This time though, though I'm gonna. React differently. Yes, Alvarez comes in, that's actually perfect. So now I'm pretty safe to just double. Uh, Attacking Squeaking again with uh, Tapu Bulu and just uh, also Earth Power the Dewblade. Not gonna bother with Vayne. Getting rid of Dewblade would be so good here. And that should knock it out. Yeah. Nice. So, duplicate goes down. Sweeten is low. Tapu Bulu is healthy.
me Q comes in. I'm guessing. I think I'm gonna put up Veil this time. Could be nice to have. Skulls, just get, please don't burn me. No burn, nice. This should knock it out. Great. Now I'm, f I think I'm in a pretty good position. I mean, Mickey sets up trick room. Rhydon is gonna be a beast now. With the veil up, especially. Kinda wish I had a spread move to break the disguise, but oh well. Can't have everything. Cordelia comes in, okay. Cordelia is obviously kind of annoying. I think I just freeze dry it. Oh, it's a meteor beam set. Then it's probably. Probably not. Not Max Bolt, at least. I reveal my sash. Okay, Bulo is faster. The Mimikyu even in Trick Room. First does a solid chunk. And Play Rough doesn't do much. Cordelia is obviously a bigger threat here. Protect is kind of obvious. Ancient power, okay. Yeah. Please don't get a boost. This, this should still... Okay, I knock it out. Not even a crit. Okay, that's good to know. It's pretty good damage. Hail stops. I mean, Miku is the only Pokemon left. I think... Go drift limb, I'm not gonna reveal my Raiden in the back. Moms are actually faster. Trick room. Okay, GG's. Come back in game two. Really nice. Okay, gonna be an interesting game three. I doubt that they would leave it the same. Lead again. Because it kind of didn't work out this time. But it's, all, it's difficult to say, obviously.
but I'm not actually really sure if they um, what else they could lead. Feel like I just bring the same four again. Auroras might not be as useful because now he knows I have Sash, but we'll see. And I, yeah, I don't see what they could lead that would pressure Bulu more. Bulu kind of wins against, against everything on the team. Mimikyu and Draco Salt, interesting. Don't actually mind this. The question is if um, if it's gonna set up trick room here. really a problem for my team. Okay, I'm faster. Which means Trick Room is coming. a good chunk. Bolt Peak is not going to do that much. It actually does. Okay. Just gonna go into ride on here because he can't really do too much. I'm not really scared of Drake Assault. Delph. He protects. Okay. It's perfect. Guessing it's just gonna. Ooh, that straight up just takes it out. Okay, that's a lucky crit for me, sorry about that. So no more Trick Room now, which is nice. I'm guessing Cordelia is going to come in here though. And I'm guessing it has a grass move. Yeah. The thing is, I am faster. So I think I'll just take it out either way. Take out the Drake Assault. So now he only has two months left either way. And kick it around, I'm not gonna leave this in terrain. That's fine though. 
Raiden did its jump. Only it does a solid amount of damage. And what could the last one be? turns of trick from left. So I definitely just protect here, I think, to waste one turn. Yeah, because then I can come in with uh, come in with Drift Bloom and Strength Sap, some on the health back. I feel like it's gonna double here. not gonna do enough. I do flinch though, which is unfortunate, but... Okay, is that a crit again? Okay, I've been so lucky in this game with crits, so I'm really sorry. Just like my game a few weeks ago. So yeah, this should be Trick Room goes out now, I think. So this should be a win. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the game really want, wanted me to win this one. And Free Stride takes it out. GG's. Really sorry about the crits. Uh, I don't know what's happening, but I've been having really good RNG lately. Which sucks for my opponents, but uh, I mean, it's good for me. Although I would prefer to just win without the hacks, but oh well, it's part of the game. So, that means I'm probably through to playoffs now, which is nice. So we have that to look forward to at least. Thanks for watching. Okay, that was really awkward, sorry. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back next week with another battle. See ya!